Drive. And Road Rager is this week. And yeah, another one of those dynamite episodes that should really be a pay per view, but I mean, Blood and Guts is coming up soon as well. But you know, this is going to be an interesting episode because it is, again, built like a pay per view. And not quite sure how many more matches they're going to have, but it's going to be a good show. I mean, from what they do have, it's going to lead into other matches, I'm sure, in the future with what we're going to talk about in a few seconds, but yeah, here we are. Oh, brute of force, that's all he understands. The beast cannot be talked to. The first match we've got Ethan Page versus Miro, a qualifier for the AEW All Atlantic Championship. Now, this is kind of like the old school, I think it was Mid Atlantic Championship at the time, back in the 70s and 80s, so I think it goes further than that, but. This was a pretty good idea. And I mean, saying this to Kyle, it was like, how many more belts are they going to have? They have the All Elite Championship, the TNT Championship. Whether I thought it was novelty or not, the FTW Championship. And now they have this. Now, it's a beautiful title, I'll say that. So we'll see what happens, you know. Got Ethan Page representing Canada, and then of course Miro representing Bulgaria. This should be a good match, and I mean, Miro just came back, so it'll be interesting to see where he goes. I mean, the Redeemer might win, but I don't know. Ethan Page, I mean, being with All American Top Team, I was good, I guess. But from how far this guy has come, even when he was on Impact with Josh Alexander, it's kind of cool to see where he is headed. So I'm not quite sure who is going to win this match. I'm guaranteeing you, it's going to probably be Merrill. There's going to be other matches to come. So I mean. It's just another wait and see, I guess. They've got Wardlow, who is going to be taking on 20 security guards. Yeah, 20 on one handicap match. Honestly, the weeks of Wardlow beating the shit out of the security guards. You got Smart Mark Sterling at the last episode of Dynamite making this challenge. So, yeah, I kind of want to see where this goes. Obviously, Lord Love will win. It's not a question of if, but I think Lord Love is going to win. So, yeah, it should be interesting nonetheless. If the beast into his cage, force him to disengage unconditioned. The Take Team Championship, we've got Jurassic Express versus the Hardys versus the Young Bucks. And of course, this will be a ladder match, which is pretty cool. Again, it's another one of those things where, yeah, it is a regular dynamite, but also you go into Road Rager and you can have matches that you would basically put on pay-per-view, but this should be an interesting match. Obviously, the Hardy Boys are veterans in the wrestling business. Young Bucks as well. I mean, these two faced each other in Ring of Honor. And, yeah, they just faced each other recently. Is it time for Jurassic Express to get the titles off? I don't know. If it were me... I wouldn't mind seeing the Hardys go over. I mean, 
I remember when they came back to WWE at WrestleMania 33 in this ladder match as surprise opponents and they won the Raw Tag Team Championships. Could this happen here? Not quite sure. Again, it's going to be a car rock. I guarantee you that. So. The beast cannot be reasoned with. He understands only force. You've got your main event. You have Chris Jericho versus RPs in a hair versus hair match. Honestly, not something that I would have picked. I mean, not for Chris Jericho. For 51, he's got a fucking main. And it would be a shame if he lost. Honestly, I think that would, yeah, I. I would have picked Hagar or somebody else, but I don't fucking understand why he would accept a match like this, but I think he is going to go over. That's kind of what I, you know, imagine. Like, that can't, that can't just be it for him. Like, he can't just lose. You know, and that would be dumb, in my opinion. So yeah, I do pick Chris Jericho, in my opinion. And I hope I'm right. I mean, who else are they going to pick? But, so there's that. It's going to be a good show, like I said. Obviously, you're going to have Forbidden Door, Blood and Guts. You know, then we go into Money in the Bank. So... Look forward to that. You know, Wills of Fury is still cooking, so that's great. And, yeah. Anyways. This the Raw here. I mean, Matt. And I throw a fireball in your face. Because I'm a wizard. Right. So, you know that them cutting WCW was a long time coming. But, you know, I think that there's this myth out there that Jamie Kelly is no, a That's why he you know, took pleasure at cutting WCW. I don't think that's the case at all. I mean, you look at some of his earlier interviews that he 